Hi there! In our previous lesson, we learned about the description and mathematical way of describing motion. In this video, we will learn about the use of graphs to describe motion. So let's get started. Imagine a device that could identify the position of a moving object at constant intervals of time. For instance, every second, or every one-tenth second, or even every one-sixtieth second. Perhaps such a device could track the location of an object moving in one dimension by placing a dot on a strip of paper. The trail of dots would represent the motion of the object as it changes its position over the course of time. Believe it or not, there is such a device. It's called a ticker tape timer. Before the advent of computers in physics labs, a common way of analyzing the motion of objects in physics labs was to perform a ticker tape analysis. A long tape was attached to a moving object and threaded through a device that placed a tick upon the tape at regular intervals of time. As the object moved, it dragged the tape through the ticker, thus leaving a trail of dots. The trail of dots provided a history of the object's motion and therefore a representation of the object's motion. The trace of the dots in the tape provides a history of the motion of an object producing what is called a ticker tape diagram, or simply known as a tape chart. The distance between the dots and a tape chart represents the change of position of an object at a time interval. A large distance between the dots means the object was moving fast during a time interval. On the contrary, a small distance between the dots indicates that the object moves slowly during the time interval. The dots on the tape chart also shows the motion of an object with a constant velocity, deceleration, and acceleration. The interpretation of the motion of an object depends on the distance between the dots during a specific time interval. An equal distance between the dots indicates constant velocity or when an object is moving at a constant speed and there is no acceleration. A gradual change of the distance between dots that gets smaller means the object slows down, which indicates that the object decelerates. If the distance between dots gradually gets longer, it means the object speeds up or accelerates. Another helpful way to determine the motion of an object is by using graphs, such as a displacement time graph, which shows the relationship between distance and time and the velocity time graph, which shows the velocity an object travels over a specific period of time. Displacement time graphs show the displacement of a moving object changes with time. For a body moving at a uniform or constant velocity, the graph is a straight line. The word slope is used to indicate the steepness of the line. The slope of this line is equal to the average velocity of the object, that is, the slope is equal to rise over run, or displacement over time. A motion, described as a constant positive velocity, results in a constant and positive slope when plotted in a displacement time graph. A constant negative velocity results in a constant and negative slope. A negative slope indicates that the direction of the motion is opposite to that of the motion with a positive slope. A horizontal line shows that the object is not moving or at rest. The slope of the graph also determines how fast or slow the motion is. Look at these two graphs. Both graphs represent a positive and constant velocity. However, the slope of the graph on the left is steeper than that on the right. This steeper slope indicates a faster velocity. Thus, the velocity of the object represented by graph A is faster than the velocity of the object represented by graph B. The greater the speed of an object, the greater the slope of a displacement time graph. If you plot the displacement against time for an object moving at changing velocities, the result will be a curved line. 
The slope of a curved line is defined at any point by the slope of the line tangent to the curve at that point. Curved lines have changing slopes. They may start with a very small slope and begin curving sharply, either upwards or downwards, towards a large slope. In either case, the curved line of a changing slope is a sign of accelerated motion. Consider these two graphs. Both graphs show plotted points forming a curved line. The object depicted by graph A is moving with a negative velocity, since the slope is negative. Furthermore, the object is starting with a small velocity, since the slope starts out with a small slope, and finishes with a large velocity, since the slope becomes larger. That would mean that this object is moving in the opposite direction and speeding up. Graph B also depicts an object with negative velocity, since there is a negative slope. The object begins with a high velocity, since the slope is initially large, and finishes with a small velocity, since the slope becomes smaller. So, this object is moving in the opposite direction and slowing down. Just like the slope of a displacement time graph, the slope of a velocity time graph is very important in describing the motion of an object. A velocity time graph shows the velocity an object travels over a specific period of time. When an object is undergoing constant acceleration, the line on the graph is straight but sloped. An object moving with a constant velocity or no acceleration will have a horizontal line. And a straight downward slope shows constant deceleration. The slope of a velocity time graph not only shows whether an object is accelerating or decelerating, it also indicates the direction the object is going. Take a look at the following graphs. In graph A, the object is accelerating in a positive direction. The object in graph B is decelerating in a positive direction. Graph C shows an object accelerating in a negative direction. And in graph D, the object is decelerating in a negative direction. Here's a quick recap. A ticker tape diagram, or simply known as a tape chart, is a motion diagram that represents the position of an object at constant intervals of time with a dot. A displacement time graph shows the relationship between distance and time. A velocity time graph shows the velocity an object travels over a period of time. That's all for now! We will be discussing about how waves carry energy in our next video, so stay tuned! See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.